Hi, my name is Noel Packer. I'm a project geologist at Sequent. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a layout template for cross sections in LeapFrog. So let's jump right into it. Creating a layout template is typically done when making serial sections or alignment serial sections, where you want to apply one template to a series of cross sections. And in this example, I've already created an alignment serial section along a tunnel alignment and have given the cross sections dimensions of 500 units wide by 200 units high. And I've also set the chainage spacing to 200. And in order to create a template which can be applied to the cross sections in my alignment serial section, I will right click on cross sections and contours and select new layout template. And this prompts me to define the location of the layout template. When defining the dimensions of the template, I want to make sure that the width and height are the same or at least close to those set in serial section. If the size and proportion of the layout template and the serial section are very different, the resulting layout section will not appear as expected. So for this template, I will set the width to 500 and the height to 200, which is the same width and height that was set in the alignment serial section. Where the layout template is located, is not related to the position of the sections that the layout template will be copied to. And in this sense, the layout template can be positioned anywhere in the vicinity of where the layout will be used. Now that I have this positioned, in the general vicinity, I can hit OK. I now enter the Layout Template tab, where I can begin adding objects to my template. For a comprehensive guide on how to build and organize layout templates, search for Organizing Section Layout Pages in the LeapFrog Help page. In this example, I added my geological model, a composite borehole with stratigraphy and RQD, and the tunnel extent. This was accomplished by right-clicking on the desired subfolder, selecting Add, and checking the objects or models that needed to be imported. I then hit save and exit out of the layout template tab. I can now apply the template to my alignment serial section by right clicking on layout template, selecting copy layout template to, and moving my alignment serial section to the selected sections side. I can also choose to only add select sections if I don't want to apply the template to the entire serial section. I then hit OK and cross sections will be built in my alignment serial section in accordance to the template. I can then expand the subfolder for each section and drag the cross section into the scene.
I'll zoom in to view my new cross sections. If desired, individual cross sections can be edited, but this will disconnect them from the layout template. And that's how you build and apply a template to a serial section or alignment serial section.